This here is one of the most famous venomous snakes in all of Australia. It's common in and around waterways, but this isn't actually the target species I'm after today. I'm after another very common species called the Eastern Water Dragon. My name's Jack Randall and I'm a zoologist. The carnivorous predator. I'm showing you every animal on the planet. Come on, let's go. To find the water dragon, I come to a rainforest habitat home to an abundance of wildlife. I'm looking along these streams, which is the perfect area for the water dragon to live. So that there is a small female water dragon. Whoa. It's a little bit too quick. That young dragon may have gotten away, but it's still early in the morning and not that warm yet. So there's a good chance we can get a bit closer to another one who's still out basking. Oh, water dragon. Yes, that is an absolute monstrous dragon. Right, so what I'm gonna try and do is creep up and show you him up close. Woo! That is a very perfect specimen of a really large water dragon. And look at that, missing the end of that tail. He's probably been in battle with another male. So the water dragons are extremely territorial. This is like such a huge brute of a lizard, which actually is totally overlooked because they're actually extremely common. But if you look up close, it's probably the coolest looking dragon in the world. And just like our Boyd's rainforest dragon that we didn't see too long ago, it has these kind of nuchal scoots that look just like dinosaur. The incredible thing given their name is that they can actually live and submerge themselves in water. If you look at the nostrils from the top of his head, it allows them just to keep their nostrils out of the water and keep the rest of their body submerged. The other thing is their tails. It's really quite strong. That allows him to be able to propel him through the water with ease. It's so nice to see you up close. It's actually quite a privilege. People don't quite appreciate this lizard as much as they should. So I'm going to say thank you, Mr. Water Dragon. Happy hunting. Oh, <laughs> he's just gone. He's just there. That head bob is a way that they communicate with me as a potential threat, but also with other lizards. 